Welcome to Lafayette, Louisiana, home to the raging Cajuns of the University of Louisiana and the site of the clash we have in store today. Today, a showdown of a couple of foes from the Sun Belt. As we'll see, the Marshall Thundering Herd taking on the Louisiana Raging Cajuns. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Reese Davis, David Pollock, and Jesse Palmer with me. Guys, it's time to get it going. Marshall will kick off to get the festivities started. Here he comes from inside his own five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. The Raging Cajuns offense will get the first swing of the game. And this wide receiver, he's the linchpin to the offense. They want to make sure they find a multitude of ways to get him the football. And it's a risk-reward scenario on defense when you're trying to cover this guy, Reese, because you play man coverage, you risk him running by you and catching deep balls, you play too much zone, and then he can hurt you after the catch. A lot of different ways that this guy is very dangerous. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. Here's the handoff. Into a mass of giant bodies. We'll call it a one-yard gain to the 24. Man, that D tackle is a freak athlete. Did you see him come out of his stance and beat the offensive lineman? Getting to the running back. Cat-like quickness. Now they'll face third and four in their first possession of the game. From the gun, wants to pass. Grabbed in the middle. It's Carter. And the defense makes the immediate tackle, but he has enough for the first down. These routes have some reads and adaptability built in, and the big fella found that cushion and made the play. Man, it's so awesome how much offenses have evolved. They know exactly what they're getting, where to sit down, quarterback, tight end, on the same page, gets the first down. From the gun, the running back has it. Just sort of a relentless run, getting everything that was available to him, and they'll mark him down at the 40. Well, it's plays like that that'll help this offense stay in rhythm all game long. If you can have that kind of success on first down running the football, it just opens up your entire playbook moving forward. Good spot after that seven-yard pickup on first down. It's second and three. The give to Davis. He has an extensive juke library, and he exhausted it and still didn't pick up much. Yeah, and the running back didn't get much here, but, you know, you clearly want to always establish the tempo, run the football, be consistent, make that defense physically meet the challenge. Ball is at the 42-yard line, close to four-down territory. Here's third and short. Here he goes breaking the pocket. He'll try to do it himself. And the defense holds firm. No pickup at all on that play. Great job by the defense there. First off, getting pressure initially and then forcing him outside the pocket. After that, excellent effort. All eyes on the quarterback. And you see the speed this defense has. They're going to be putting a lot of heat on this guy throughout the game. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. Not going to risk a return here. He'll make the fair catch. The Thundering Herd offense takes the field. It's our first look at them in this one. Here are our impact players for this game, and it goes beyond executing an assignment to make an impact in the game. Yeah, obviously we were talking to both coaching staffs this week, and we asked them who needs to step up and play well. They immediately pointed to these guys right here. They are the key for their respective teams. Yeah, and they don't always show up in the box score, but these are the guys are the leaders. These are the guys getting everybody organized and have to play well for their team to succeed. Got six on first down. Now a lot of options on second and four. The inside handoff. Not much doing there. He gets it to the 26, a gain of one. Facing a third down and short from the 26. He'll pull it on the read. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. 
Well, this defense knew that they were going to be seeing some option in this game, and right now everybody's doing a nice job playing their assignments. On the third play of that drive, they were expecting it, and everyone communicating and all rallying to the football. That was nice to see if you're the coaching staff. Marshall will be forced to punt. He'll bring it back. It's Perry. That nifty return sets up the offense and negates some of the yardage on the punt. Here comes the Louisiana offense onto the field. They hope to be able to cash in on this drive, David, after having to punt it last time. Yeah, and I think this offense needs to start it with the first play. You need to be successful and productive on that first play, and it gets you in less predictable situations. No doubt, too. And don't you just feel like there's a little bit more sense of urgency on this drive? It just feels like they've got to be able to put some points up on the board here. Line getting set on second down. Off the bootleg, lost to toss it. Unloads to the wideout. It's caught. And they'll finally bring him down after he rips off a huge play. And the quarterback knew exactly where he wanted to go with the football. Had time. Spins the ball deep. Nice job by this offense. Understanding what the defense has given them and creating the explosive play. And the raging Cajuns come to the line in the hurry up. From the red zone, looking for a man. Pulls it in, it's Jensen. And he'll make his way out of bounds after the solid pickup. It must be nice for this quarterback knowing he's got this type of athlete playing the tight end position. That can work the middle of the field for him. He's a guy who can stretch it vertically as well, but this is a guy the QB will look for early and often in this game. Going to work on second down in the red zone is still some ground to cover to pick up that first down. He's looking to throw. He caught it. And he's into the end zone. Touchdown, Cajuns. One of the reasons this offense is so exciting to watch, they've got guys that are dangerous after the catch. If this quarterback gets through his progression, Dave, and hits you in stride, these guys will take it to the house. Man, it's your job to do the rest, right? You hit me in stride where I don't have to stop running. I don't have to break down. It makes it so easy. The connection between quarterback, wide receiver, you can tell this is a good one, and that's why they got six on that play. They'll try to add another to their lead. And with the extra point, they get the first seven of the game. Quick work on that scoring drive, just four plays. And they finish it off by connecting from 10 yards out. About to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. He'll start the return inside his five. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. Marshall takes over the ball, the thundering herd offense coming out. They'll run the RPO and fire to the right. And he was able to get away from one tackle, but plenty of help was on the way. Decent pickup on that play. The quick passing game does several things. One... It doesn't let the pass rush get to you. Those great defensive linemen, the ball's coming out so fast they can't get there. And then what else? It gets me ahead of the sticks. I don't have to worry about getting in long yardage and predictable situations. Caught behind the line. It's Fitzpatrick. He gets it past the chains, and it'll be a first down for Marshall. Nice completion here to this wide receiver, and you're going to see this receiver line up in different spots all over the field all game long. Defense has got to keep their eye on where this guy is because they know he's a big part of this offensive success. It'll be a first and 10 from the 29. The give to the tailback. And they try the middle of this defense, and that is not happening. That back had absolutely nowhere to run the football. Actually, is he counting? I think he's counting to make sure there's only 11 guys on defense. Got stuffed on first down. It's second and 10. Got it behind the line. It's Metcalf. And a good job in coverage there as they stop it after just a few. Great job by the defense winning those early downs. Now you get him in a predictable situation, third and long. You bring in more DBs, more speed, more fun blitz packages. Get to have a little fun, go get the quarterback. 
They line up, and it is a long way to the sticks from here. On third and long, trying to have a big completion here. Got it in the middle, it's Payne. And he was loose and not stopped until he gets to the 47-yard line. Hard work pays off, guys. These offenses work so hard week in, week out, working on those critical down and distances, third downs. And having that conversion this early in the game, that's got to feel good for this offense. To the air, it's Braxton. Looking left, it's complete. Good execution. They move the sticks, and they've got it at the 33. Yeah, and you've seen these curl routes. This is a timing route. Understand the ball's got to come out of my hand right when he hits the top of that curl. Nice job by the QB finding him. Nice catch. Marshall back at it with another first and 10. He's looking to throw it. And that incomplete pass caused by the big hit on first down, second down coming. After the quarterback and receiver failed to hook up, they'll try it again on second down. The back goes in motion. Caught in the backfield, it's Turner. The defense wouldn't let him loose, and even though it's a completion, they lost yardage. Listen, if I'm a QB, second down, I want to check the ball down and get a manageable third down, but when this defense is flying around like this, so fast closing out, he got to that running back, got him on the ground so fast, the running back had nowhere to go. This will be the eighth play of the drive, but a great opportunity for the defense to get off the field. Caught in the backfield, it's Fitzpatrick. He ended up losing yardage on the play, and that'll bring up fourth down. They get suffocated right away. How about the DB? Just seeing that initially, pulling the trigger, getting to him, get him on the ground, get the tackle for the loss. Marshall will be forced to punt. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. And that punt will sail out of bounds. Let's see where the official spot it. Louisiana has it back in the Raging Cajun offense headed to the field. David, they love to do what they did last time and put this one in the end zone. You ain't lying. They did a great job. The offense was clicking. Everything went well. Palmer, they executed and got the touchdown. And they really were in a nice rhythm as well. And I'd love to see that here on the next drive, too. Just keep doing what you're doing. Everything seems to be working, and you seem to have this defense on their heels. After picking up a couple, it's second and eight. He's looking to throw. Gets it out quickly. He's run out of bounds, but a big play on that one, and it'll be a first down. And there was no question in that scenario. That's where the quarterback was going. He knew he had his receiver in a matchup that he liked, running a route where he would find himself open. Nice job between those two. From their own 18-yard line, it's first down. Looking to move it through the air. Snagged in the middle. It's Bernard. In college football, you see this a ton now. You use a quick passing game, basically as the running game. Get a few yards, get your offense ahead of the sticks, keeps it on pace for success. And here comes the offense on second down. He's looking to throw. He lost one down the sideline. And they wanted it all on that incomplete pass. Instead, they're looking at third down. You see it in football all the time, right? I get a matchup on the outside. You want to try to play man coverage? I'm going to let my wide receiver try to go up and make a play. A lot of times the wide receiver wins. Not this time. Now looking for that first down on third and short from the 26. And they make the stop just short of the line to gain. Inches to go. It'll be fourth down. The Raging Cajuns will call on their punt team. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. On the return, it's Metcalf. The coverage team was down there to corral him. They made the stop, and they'll mark it at the 39. 
The Marshall offense makes its way back onto the field. They'll go to the ground. And I think they'll give him two on that one, second and eight coming up. And those physical runs take a toll. It might not be a big game now, but down the road, third, fourth quarter, late in the ball games, they tend to turn into bigger runs. Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. Give to the running back. Really nice stop there from this senior leader. They'll come to the line at the 42, facing a third and long. Looking downfield, it's Braxton. Quick strike complete. And he's able to shed one tackle and gets a pretty good pickup. Ooh, and that's a nice sigh of relief for the defense too, right? There was a broken tackle. The guy made it look like he was going to pick up the first, but because of great effort defensively, they were able to get the stop, and now they're setting up for it. Marshall will be forced to punt. Looking for a block. It's Perry. Pretty solid coverage there, and they'll stop him at the 26. Here comes the Louisiana offense onto the field. They'll have another opportunity to extend this lead after punting last time, David. And it's important to put that punt behind you. It's, it's over. Let it go. Get back to what you were doing that built this lead. Yeah, and defense, obviously, they won a few downs uh, that last drive. So we got to put them on their heels here. Maybe mix up a few personnel groupings and try to show them some pictures they haven't seen yet. Got a little work done on first down. Now back to the line. Looking to throw on second down. Just missed his man, gave him just a little too much. Well, no doubt that was the primary target the quarterback wanted, just not on the same page on that one. They've made third down offense a key. It'll be tested on third and long from the 28. From the gun, wants to pass. Moves around to clear up the vision. Trying to make magic with his feet. Really good job to pick up a chunk of yardage and get it out to the 39-yard line. He's got such good awareness in the pocket. He does a good job of feeling the rush. and You know it's a pass, and you want to keep your eyes downfield, but he sees an opening, and if he sees an opening, he's got the ability to go get it and get a first down. From the gun, they'll try to impose their will. And a good, solid pick up there before the defense knocks him down. Uh, I know it's sexy to throw the football, but if you can pound it away and get these kind of gains, they will just add up, wear the defense down, get first downs, and ultimately get some points. They can really be aggressive after that last play. It's second and three. Off play action. Just had to get rid of that one. Good job to fight another play. Third and short now. They snap it from their own 46. Trying to pick it up on the ground. They tried to go smash mouth on third and short, and it did not work against this defense. Great job by the defense. Everybody firing off the ball, hitting their guys, holding their gaps, running to the football, nowhere to go. And the Raging Cajuns will send out the punt unit. They'll look to pin them deep. Running it back, it's Metcalf. And they'll get him down after the return at the 27-yard line. Marshall takes over the ball, the thundering herd offense coming out. Quick release on the RPO. Didn't pick up a lot there, moved it forward just a few. It's early in the game, and as offenses try to get their rhythm, these easy completions are very important because that's what helps you get your feet underneath you as an offense and as a unit. And hopefully, as this game goes on, they'll be able to rev up and get more aggressive taking shots. Back to throw. It's Braxton. 
gets it out fast. He'll be stopped at the 41, but give him 10 on that play. And I love when you understand when I'm supposed to put some RPMs on that football. You could tell he's thrown over the middle of the field. He knows he's got defenders there. I got to throw this thing in there quick, fast, in a hurry. Nice job by the quarterback. Time winding down in the quarter as they come to the line. He'll come out throwing on first down. Got a man. It's Fitzpatrick. And after the tackle, that will bring us to the end of the first quarter. We have the early makings of a quarterback duel, as these stats will show you. They've swapped ends of the field, and we're ready to go in the second. After the short completion, let's see if they go back to the air. He's looking for a man on second down. Quarterback extends the play. Picks up the first down and gets down to avoid contact. Yeah, I think you're just seeing the experience this guy has, right? He's so poised that initially he's flushed out of the pocket. Nothing's open. And he doesn't panic. He's not throwing it away. He's not sliding early. He just knows where the defense isn't. And he's able to attack that space with his speed and get a positive play. He wants to throw. Got it. In the middle, it's Fitzpatrick. And he's down after the short completion. He did not make it to the first down marker. Well, this offense knew coming into this game they wanted to try to attack the middle of the field in the passing game, and they're able to execute the in route there. Less than a yard to go to pick up the first down. Running back searching for a hole. Fighting off the defender. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. It's a bad sign on offense when you have that many people running free at your running back. That means guys up front aren't getting their blocks. Just too many hats getting to the ball carrier. I love his effort making multiple guys miss, but still, it's a negative play. To the air, it's Braxton. He's got his man. Third down conversions are huge, and they've got one, and they're at the 35. I was starting to think about what they would do if they didn't pick up the first down here, but I guess that's a moot point now. Moot point for sure, and the head coach was probably telling them four down territory, we're going to kick a field goal, whatever the next decision was going to be, and now the OC is like, don't worry about it. New set of downs, nice execution by this offense. I like this guy as a running back because he can run between the tackles and he can also go outside. He can really do it all. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. Out of the gun, the inside give. He will step out of bounds, but not before the big pickup and a first down for this offense. Well, with the weapons this offense has, you knew it was just a matter of time in the run game before someone was going to break a long one. They'd just been running into a wall. They just couldn't seem to find their creases and get enough movement up front, but they finally got it there, picking up the first. Let's see what happens next. From the red zone, he's going to throw it. Caught on the outside, it's Chapman. And he goes out of bounds after coming up with positive yardage there. Well, when you're throwing these out routes, guys, it's location, location, location. As a QB, you've got to put that out in front of your guy so he can make the catch. You put that behind him, that might be getting picked. Nice job there by the QB. On the run, it's Houston. Pushes and picks his way ahead for six yards. He's down at the eight. Ooh, and I love the running back here running into the blitz. He saw the extra defender. He was able to put his foot in the ground and make a miss. That was a good play. Tight quarters deep in the red zone, but they can pick up a first down without scoring. Third down. Looking to throw. It's Braxton. Makes the catch. He gets it in. Touchdown, Marshall. And what did I start for this offense? The throw game getting working, getting the touchdown pass. This quarterback getting a little bit of confidence. This passing game getting in a rhythm. Nice start for this offense.
Getting set for the point after. Splits the uprights. They put it in the end zone with a 12-play scoring drive. And they finish things off with an 8-yard toss for the score. All tied up and just about set to kick it away. On the move from inside is five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. Offense getting set for first down. He's going to pass. Fires to the wideout. He's got it. They make the stop, but the sweet rolling catch is plenty to give them a first down. Great job by the offense, being patient, understanding when they're in zone coverage, I gotta hit those tight windows, make those precise passes to get those big plays. You open a drive like that and you've got some operating room, it's first down from the 38. Trying to make that rush think on the draw play here. They bring him down and he's gonna lose a yard on that one. Yeah, the offense was trying to go draw and make it look like pass, but I'll tell you, the linebackers weren't fooled. They came down hard quickly, got into the backfield, and got the tackle for loss. Lost one on that last one. It's second and 11. He's looking to throw. And it'll be incomplete. This is some physical pass defense. What a hit by the defender. That's a good throw, and that was going to be caught, but how about the defender dislodging the football from its intended target? Nice job. A third and long coming up here. From the gun, wants to pass. Complete to the left. And he's running in the open. And he'll take it in and house it. Touchdown, Raging Cajun. This offense right now, they're doing some damage through the air. That's now their second passing touchdown. They thought coming into this game, they were going to have some matchups on the perimeter of the field that they could take advantage of, and they've done that so far here today. Lining up to add another. And the extra point is true, and they're on top by seven. Quick work on that scoring drive, just four plays. And they cap things off with a big play up top, going 63 yards to the house. About to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. He'll bring it back from inside his five. And they'll get him on the ground as the offense comes out to start the next drive. Line gets set, first down. Out of the shoot, quick toss to the right. And they pick up just a few on that completion. They're trying to throw the wide receiver screen to pick up that first down, but the defense just too much speed getting to the ball carrier on that one. Second down coming up. Looking for a man. It's Braxton. He finds his man. Building momentum. Picking up a chunk of yardage. Moving the chains out to the 34. I'll tell you what. That's great execution between the QB and receiver. They look like they could execute that throw in their sleep. Quarterback took his steps. Threw it on time. Great route by the receiver. Nice job securing the catch. Lining up from the 34 on first down. He's looking to throw it. Catch in the middle, it's Robinson. And the catch was one thing, and the run even better. A big pickup on that one. Really nice job on that play. Quarterback and receiver being on the same page. Quarterback not telegraphing the throw, and the receiver does a nice job finding the soft spot in the defense, just settling down and giving his quarterback a nice target to throw to. The RPO, fire complete to the left. They make the stop, trying to pick up just a little bit at a time to get to that first down marker. 
This quarterback right now is in a groove, and he's doing a nice job in pre-snap. He's reading the coverage, and he's getting an idea of where he wants to go with the football. That's why the ball's coming out of his hands so quickly, and that's why he seems like he's in a great rhythm right now. They want to just keep throwing it. Fires to the big fella. Tackled almost immediately. They're well short of the first down. I'll say this, man. In college football, you see a lot of bad tackling. You didn't see it right there. That was an awesome job. First off, being there at the point of attack, once the tight end made the catch, there was no doubt he was going down. Great job form tackle. Quarterback on the keeper. Crosses the 30. He's got a lane. The ball's free. They recover their own fumble. Somehow, who knows how they got that thing back. Well, the offense is able to avoid disaster right there. Problem is they fumbled it, but thankfully they were able to jump back on and not have a turnover. Marshall back at it with another first and ten. Looking to throw, it's Braxton. Quickly complete. They make the stop, but this passing game does some damage, and they move the sticks with the first down. He's just winning that matchup in the slot every time. Yeah, and when you put him in the slot, Reese, he's closer to the quarterback. It's an easier throw. We can run in, we can run out, and really take advantage of his versatility of a guy in that slot position. Run in the red zone. It's Turner. And he does a really nice job finding open space and making a good gain before the stop is made. Listen, you, you got to be able to know what play to call and what hole to go through. Like, the line blocks for a certain hole. Good job getting through the hole, getting what was blocked, getting a nice positive gain, making your situation really good on the next down. Off the boot, looking for his man. Fires into the end zone. And he can't find his man as he was trying to pay off this red zone opportunity. Well, I love the coverage on defense. In the red zone, everyone's got their eyes on the quarterback, and they're flying to the football, and you saw that there on the incompletion. Not a lot of ground to cover and not much to defend. A big third down in the red zone. They'll try to pick up the first through the air. Catch in the middle. It's Robinson. They get him stopped at the five-yard line, but it will be first and goal from there. Defenses are put in such a tough spot when offenses get in third and short because the whole playbook is open and they go with the pass. I love it. They sneak the pass in there. Nice success. Great job by the quarterback. Getting rid of the football. Getting the first down. Now set up first and goal. He works his way ever closer all the way down to the one-yard line. Second and goal for the offense. He'll keep it himself. And he'll finish the run in the end zone. Touchdown, Hurd! If you're able to move the ball in a drive like that, the most overrated stat in football would be field position. Agreed, and I think confidence is big right now after that last drive. To be able to flip the field like that, not just do it, but go down and score a touchdown. Running and throwing. For this offense now moving forward in this game, that last drive is going to pay big dividends. Lining up for the PAT. Bangs it through for an extra point. They put it in the end zone with a 12-play scoring drive. And they capped it off with a one-yard plunge. And we're all square as he's set to kick it away. And he takes this from inside the five. He was looking for more running room, but none to be found as he stopped at the 23. Louisiana has it back in the Raging Cajun offense headed to the field. Hand off to the single back. Just enough there to get it to the 25, a pickup of two. The run game just has not been working for this offense all game long. We saw it on that last play as well. Just not getting enough push up front on the offensive line. They haven't been physical. After picking up a couple at second and eight. 
trying to impose their will with the run. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Yeah, I think the running back kind of went rogue on that last running play. I'm not sure it was designed to go that direction. He tried to make it happen on his own, and unfortunately ended up losing yards. Now facing a third and long. From the gun, wants to pass. Oh, he's going to try to get it all here. Makes the grab on the left side. Afterburner's coming. And he'll take it in. They couldn't get him on the ground. Touchdown, Louisiana. Well, I'm not sure who was closer to the receiver there, the defensive backs or us here in the booth. <laughs> that was great execution on offense. Receiver wins the route one-on-one, -on -one, shows off his speed, gets himself wide open. There was no question where the quarterback was going with that. Nice job. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And with the extra point, the score is now 21 to 14. Quick strike offense on that three-play scoring drive. And they finish it with a flare, a 77-yard touchdown pass. Just about set to kick it away. On the run from inside his own five. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes, and they'll stop him at the 16. The Marshall offense makes its way back onto the field. The way this game started, you feel as if you have to score a touchdown every time you have it, and now we'll see if they can respond. Yeah, and I wonder how much pressure that puts on the offense. Jesse, like, you know this is back and forth, and I got to score, and every possession matters so much. What does that do to you as a quarterback? Well, it puts a lot more pressure on you for sure to feel like I got to make every third down throw. If guys are open vertically down the field, I got to hit them too. We can't let our serve get broken. Looking to throw, it's Braxton. Working that left side. Really nice pickup there as they have it out to the 44 with the first down. And a really good job by the quarterback being very decisive. He saw his matchup, he went for it, he attacked it, got the positive gain. I would say he's going to find that guy a few more times today. Now they'll line it up from the 44 on first and 10. Going to the ground. You'll take this every time. Five yards on the first down play. It's going to be important this offensive line is able to get a little bit of push. Just got to give this guy an inch, a little crease, and he can make yards for it. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. He's looking to throw. Caught in the backfield, it's Payne. And he's a real nowhere man tackled in this no-gain land. Yeah, nice job by the defense staying glued to him. Getting him on the ground as soon as he catches the football. Knowing he's a threat, I'm not going to let this guy get out of my sights. Nice job by the D. Just this side of midfield, the defense trying to rise up on third and short from the 49. From the gun, wants to pass. And it goes through his hands. Oh, he had an explosive play right there for the taking, but couldn't reel it in. This is a point where you just got to be able to focus. And the critical down and distances in this game, like that third down right there, when it's a good throw, you got to make the catch. You've got to be able to make that play. Marshall will be forced to punt. And they'll just down it right there. Here comes the Louisiana offense onto the field. And David Howe, they would love to stick it in the end zone one more time after that last drive. And once you get the defense on their heels and you back them off a little bit, you get in a little bit of rhythm, it's really hard to stop Jesse. And they're going to try to do it again right here. And if you're this play caller, you're loving what's happening right now because everything you dialed up on that last drive ended up working out. You're just looking at your play sheet. Everything you're picking is working. Let's see if they can pull it off again here. From the shotgun now, here's an inside give. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. 
awesome job up front by this defensive line being so good at the point of attack and eating blocks, eating some double teams that allows these linebackers to run free, unencumbered, and get to the football. Line is set on third down. From the gun, wants to pass. Nice defensive play to get a hand in there and knock it away. And on that third down play, there just wasn't any timing between the quarterback as an intended target. As a result, ball falls incomplete, setting up fourth. The raging Cajuns send out the punt unit. He just wanted to get it out of there from his end zone. A fair catch is called for and made just across the 50-yard line. Marshall takes over the ball, the thundering herd offense coming out. After a punt on their last possession, they are set up in plus territory this time. And honestly, it wouldn't have mattered if they scored a touchdown their last possession. You've got to be able to turn the page and see this is a brand new opportunity to go get points. Yeah, and your defense has set you up for the position to get points right away. Now, let's get this offense back rolling again, create some momentum, just get a few first downs, and I'm in scoring position. This offense has a second down play. Looking downfield, it's Braxton. Just goes right through the wicket and brings up third down. Man, he will be thinking about that one. Ooh, I don't know, guys. Did he hear footsteps running over the middle of the field where all those defenders are lurking? I think that might have got in his head, and that might have been a reason why he dropped it. When you've already sent your punter out four times, at least he knows he's going to get his varsity letter, and his leg might get a bigger workout if they don't convert. And the incomplete pass will bring up fourth down. Wow, the quarterback got away with one there. He's lucky that defender dropped that pass because if he picks it, he might have taken that one to the house. Marshall will be forced to punt. Let's see if he can help the coverage team out with this one. A fairly short distance here toward the sidelines. Not his best work. Louisiana has it back in the raging Cajun offense headed to the field. To the air on first down. Pocket starts to collapse. That's caught. It's Davis. And you see so many smart wide receivers, so many smart tight ends nowadays that they know where the holes in those zones are and they work with their quarterback and they find them and they sit down in them and make big plays. It's tough to sit back in zone against such smart players nowadays. After the first down completion, it's second and short. He's looking to throw. Finds a tight end. They get him on the ground, but it's a first down. Well, they pick up the first against zone coverage. I think a big part of this for young quarterbacks out there is if you're going to be throwing into zone coverage, you got to throw on time. You can't stare down receivers because the entire defense has their eyes on you, so you can't telegraph where the ball's going. You've got to hold it to the very last possible second. Try to freeze defenders with your eyes and then throw the ball into open areas of the field, anticipating where your guy's going to be. The modest gain on the completion really shows why you want to run the zone, make them execute, and rally to the ball. 100%. Zone eyes on the quarterback. I see him throw the football, break on it, go make tackles, live to fight another down. The offense will stop the clock and use one of its timeouts. That last completion sets him up on second down. He's looking to throw. He tosses one high and deep down the left side. Incomplete, and he threw that one up for grabs and into traffic, and fortunate to get it back. Great coverage, great break on the ball. Had a chance to really make a big play and maybe even take that thing back to the house. But you got to secure the catch. We like to hit people more than we like to catch balls. From the gun, he'll try to throw for it on third down. Got his man on the right. And boy, is he close to that first down, maybe just a couple of inches short. Oh, uh, you know, that's one as a quarterback. You've thrown the completion, and you're like, dude, can you just turn around and make one guy miss and go get the first? Or can you just stretch out and get the first down? You need your guys to have a little bit more awareness where they are in the field on that play. And even though they got the completion, it's not enough to pick up the first. And now you're staring fourth down right in the face.
underway. Two quarters here. Time to go to Kevin Connors in our halftime update. All right, guys. Looks like we've got a great atmosphere today in Lafayette. Toughest job inside that stadium right now might just be the scoreboard operator after all those first downs and touchdowns. Big plays have defined this one thanks to two of the best receiving core in all of college football. Let's see if these defenses can adjust and make the necessary chess moves. And with that, let's send it back to the fellas inside Our Lady of Lords Stadium. And the Raging Cajuns will kick it away to start the second half. Here he comes from inside his own five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. The Marshall offense makes its way back onto the field. They are trailing by 10 here, Jesse, but this is the type of team that seems comfortable in an offensive shootout. You got to hold serve at this point, right? You got to drive the field, put some more points up on the board. Yeah, they just scored. You can answer that now and keep this thing close, David. And I think you're used to that as offense. Like, football is so fast-paced now and you score so quickly, it's not that big of a deal to get down 10. You keep being you, keep being aggressive. Dropping back, it's Braxton. And that's going to fall to the ground incomplete. That was a physical matchup there. Third down coming. That's what I'm talking about. That is how you close. And when a guy's going to make a catch, you make sure he doesn't make it. Physicality, using your pads, running through them. And guess what? Not only this play does he feel it, next time he tries to go over the middle or feels footsteps, this will pay dividends. This time it's complete. They'll move those chains, getting it out to the 29-yard line and trying to get this drive rolling. And on that third and short, I don't think he was unhappy to see that zone. Nope, it was a great job by the offense. Hey, see where the holes in the zone are? Sit down. You only need a little bit of yards on this third down. Get the conversion. Move the sticks. From the shotgun, they'll run it. That's what you expect from a senior. Don't give them any extra yards. Great tackle there. Offense in the hurry up. Out of the gun. They'll run it inside. Finds his way for three after the 33. And this offense just has to find a way to convert this third down or else they are really in trouble. Caught over the middle. It's Harris. And he gets it done on third down. They move the chains and they'll mark it at the 44. Well, look, that wasn't a touchdown, but that was a massive play for this offense. They needed some momentum. They needed to find a rhythm, and what better way than converting on third down? Awesome job by the quarterback getting through his progression. The give on the inside. Still on his feet at the 45. They'll finally drag him down, but not before he gets it to the 40, and it's a first down. Marshall quick to the line. Quick release by the QB. I like the decision by the quarterback here. Just get the ball out of your hands. Get it to your playmaker. A lot of times he'll dance and make even bigger plays than he did here, but it was still a positive game. Picked up some yardage on the ground. Now here comes second down. Hmm. 
quick completion on the out route. Good job running that route to get past the sticks because he got nothing after the catch. Nice job there by the receiver on the out route, not telegraphing where he's going. He can't be peeking to the outside, giving the defender an opportunity to break on the ball. He kept his eyes right down the field. DB had no idea where he was going, and that helped make that completion a whole lot easier. Red pass is complete. They make the stop after the catch and still some work to do to pick up that first down. Well, we see another catch by this guy. This defense is going to need to do a better job of tackling the catch. In coverage, I know they want to slap the ball away, but if you can't do it and force the incompletion, you've got to at least make sure you're able to drag him down to the ground as soon as he catches the ball. From the gun, the running back looking for room. Slam to the ground, but not before he gets the first down. Marshall back at it with another first and ten. Pulls and throws off the RPO. That completion gets them inside the 10, and the defense is running out of room to defend. You know, the defense doesn't have an answer for this slot guy right now. They may want to think about bracketing him, having a defender play to the outside and to the inside, probably some sort of zone coverage where you're trying to get two bodies, forcing the quarterback to have to go somewhere else with the ball. On the ground, it's Turner. And maybe he'll get back to the line of scrimmage, but no more than that. How about the defender being a heat-seeking missile? He was on radar lock. He found the football and flew down with some bad intentions. The terrain gets rough this deep in the red zone. Third down, they can't pick up the first without scoring. Let's it fly. Reels it in in the end zone. Touchdown, thundering her. And this quarterback really does a great job of seeing the defense and seeing what kind of coverage they're in. And I think when this offense goes empty and they spread the defense out, it just makes it so much more simple for the QB to see what the defense is doing pre-snap and then post-snap. You can tell he's playing in a great rhythm right now because he's seeing the field and these empty sets are really helping him out. They'll try to tack one more on their score. And the extra point pulls them to within three, 24-21. That is what they mean when they say ball control, a 14-play touchdown drive. And they cap things off with a nine-yard touchdown pass. The kickoff team on the field as they'll send this one away. He'll start the return inside his five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. Here comes the Louisiana offense onto the field. Man, how comforting is it to know that even if your offense stalls out a little, Jesse, that field goal... And the defense makes a play, sacking him back at the 10. I think going into halftime trailing, this defense knew that they were going to have to start making plays here in the second half. And early in the third quarter here on this drive, they get a sack. That is really good news for this defense. If they're going to get anything going on this drive, they better be productive here on second and long from the 10. He's looking to throw. Quick completion on the out. He's close to the first down, but they're going to mark him just a little short. QB, excellent location on that throw. Out route against man coverage, you cannot miss. If you throw that behind, that might be a pick six. So nice job by the quarterback with his accuracy. They'll try to move the chains on third and short from the 27. He'll do it himself. 
And he gets it up to the 36. It'll be a first down. And how nice is it to have a guy that can say, I'm just going to go get the first down. Like, I know I have options. I can do X, Y, and Z, but I'm just going to let me run it, go get the first down, and give myself an extra set of downs. Now from the 36-yard line, it's first and 10. Looking to move it through the air. Grabbed behind the line, it's Davis. And that defensive penetration gave him no chance, and he is ridden out of bounds. Here comes the offense on second down. Off the play fake. They get to him as he throws. Makes the grab. And the defense stops him just short of the first down. Maybe needed a few more chain links to move the sticks. Well, this defense is going to mix up their looks against this quarterback, playing some zone. That time it was man coverage, but they also brought the blitz. So they're just trying to keep this quarterback on his toes. On third and short, they'll try to convert through the air. Behind his tight end. They convert on third down as he gets it to the 46-yard line. Third and short, and I guess the only thing they really took out of play in the shotgun was the quarterback sneak. Yeah, and that's kind of what I like to do, Reese. I mean, third and inches, I, I want to run the quarterback sneak, run the football, but this team fully comfortable throwing the football, and you see why. Easy pitch, easy catch, first down. The aerial assault continues. A strike downfield. Touchdown, Cajuns! What a catch and run for six. He has been surgical. Precision passes. Using the scaffold, the fine instrument, rather than the blunt one. And the defense has had absolutely no answer for him. Just, uh, he's been down their throats all game long, a step ahead, understanding what he's seeing, and just destroying this defense. They'll try to add another to their lead. And with the extra point, they're now up by a touchdown and a field goal at 10. They're lining up to boot it away. Fielded in the end zone, it's Chapman. Pulled down at the 18, and the decision to bring it out of the end zone was not a good one. Marshall takes over the ball, the thundering herd offense coming out. The deficit here is just 10 points, David, so a chance to answer here. Plenty of time left in this football game. No need to panic. This offense just has to put a couple drives together. And listen, the defense will get this back and get some stop farmer and get you the football back. And I think, I think here, too, David, you have an opportunity to keep the pressure on the opponent. Yeah, they just went down and scored, but you score here, and this game's still tight. You keep their feet to the fire, so an opportunity here to keep applying that pressure. Looking for a huge play. And it slips through his fingers incomplete. That would have been a huge gain if he could have squeezed it. And this offense just can't afford not to get the first down here. Already trailing big, and the clock is not their friend. He wants to go deep. Couldn't quite haul it in. They almost had their first pick here late in the game. The offense gets pretty lucky there. Third down in your own end. You're throwing to try to get the first. That ball just a little bit late, and as a result, they're lucky that wasn't a pick six. Marshall will be forced to punt. And these guys have been busy. Sixth punt of the day. On the return, it's Perry. He'll be brought down, but there is a flag on the field. Let's see what that one's about. So the decision has been made, and the coach will take the penalty. So the offense keeps his drive alive thanks to the roughing the punter penalty. And it's incomplete. If you're going to take a hit like that, you might as well hang on to the ball. 
Yeah, and sometimes the coverage is just great. And as a quarterback, you throw the football away or don't try to force it too tight into a window, and you just say, hey, defense won that. Well, good coverage. And the incompletion brings up a second down. Wants to throw. It's Braxton. He looks that one in nicely. And he goes out of bounds after a nice pickup on that one. I love offenses and quarterbacks that are willing to take the easy stuff. Take those easy throws that are guaranteed to get positive yards. Yeah, I'm going to take big shots down the field, too. But don't forget, it's easier to pick up second and five, third and five, than it is when we start getting those long yarded situations. Lines a man on the right. Boy, did he look as if he was going to go. Gets it down to the 37. Wow, and what a great job by that quarterback finding his open receiver on third down. You know, guys, one of the most telling stats at the end of the game is third down conversion percentage. If you're a great third down team, it's invaluable to your offensive success, and that's why teams drill third down so much in practice. They'll throw it on first down. Makes the catch. It's Fitzpatrick. Tackle is made at the 27. Let's give him 10 yards on the play, and it is enough for a first down. Need to do a better job as a defender tackling the catch. On the curl route, he had a chance to break on the ball, get the receiver down, couldn't do it, and as a result, they give up an explosive play. This Marshall offense putting together a nice drive. They'll throw it on first down. And it just squirted through his hands. He wanted to take off and got too anxious. Well, they rep this play every day in practice, what, 50 times? Simple hitch route. Quarterback puts it right on, and receivers just got to finish the play. Second down after that incompletion. He'll pull it on the read. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. And it's difficult to contain athletic quarterbacks, but man, when everybody plays their assignment, it's a beautiful thing. I understand I got to take away this. I got to keep my eyes on the quarterback, make sure he doesn't pull that football. They weren't fooled, and the quarterback had nowhere to go. Ninth play of the drive coming up, but this one will be tough. Third and long. That's caught. It's Robinson. And sure, tackling there to keep him from getting to the first down marker. try to cap off this drive with a field goal. The holder will kneel down at the 29, making it a 39-yard attempt. He got it. So after the last drive ended with a field goal, the kickoff team out there to send it away. On the move from inside is five. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes, and they'll stop him at the 16. Louisiana has it back in the raging Cajun offense headed to the field. Grabbed over the middle. It's Carter. And just a short, safe pass play. They pick up a few. A nice job by the defense there tackling the catch and smothering the tight end. They know this offense is going to try to find him in the passing game in a lot of different situations. That time, perfect coverage, and nice job bringing the big guy down. Not easy to do. They'll line up for a second down play. Wide receiver coming across in motion. Grabbed in the backfield. It's Johnson. My old coach said, you'll never go broke taking a profit. Take what's there, take the positive yards, and never complain. That last completion still leaving them with a third down. From the gun, wants to pass. Got a man, it's Carter. 
They'll move those chains, getting it out to the 29-yard line and trying to get this drive rolling. Defense is about learning the plays. Third down, what do they like to do? How do they do it? So far, the offense having a little bit of success, but the defense now, you got to figure out what they're doing. The raging Cajuns will snap it on first and ten. He wants to throw it again. He's got it. And he's to the 48-yard line. That would be good enough for a first down. I love this by the offensive coordinator because as the game goes along, you see how are they going to line up when we line up in this? What coverage do they like to play? And then you can take advantage. You say, all right, the corner route is open. I'm going to hit it. Here they come, first and 10 from the 48. He wants to throw. Using his feet to buy time. And a nice pickup on the run and gets down to avoid contact. Nice job by the QB sitting back in the pocket. You can tell he wants to throw the football, go through his progressions. Nothing home. Take off and slide. I love the slide at the end. Don't take a big shot. Just inside the 40-yard line. It's first and 10 from the 39. He's going to pass. Starting to feel a little pressure. He turns this into a nice gain and gets down to avoid the hit. You know, QBs want to make those big plays. They want, to, they want to put up the big stats. But when nothing's there, sometimes you just tuck the ball, get a minimal gain. I like the slide, by the way, too. Get down and don't take a big hit. All the way down to the 25-yard line. It's first and 10. Use the play fake. Now to throw. And the physical play there forces the incompletion on first down. Looked like the offense had a chance for a big play there, but the running back just could not reel that ball in. And now on second down for this offense. Off the bootleg, looking to fire. Grab behind the line. It's Jensen. Makes a catch and knock down. You know, we joked that the tight end's always open, David, but play action almost makes it impossible to keep them covered. And yeah, because those guys, they're such good blockers most of the time. They're big and physical, and they sell block for a second, and then they run open, and they find holes in zones, or they get good matchups. And man, those tight ends nowadays are nightmares for defenses to try to stop. He gets the job done, picking up the first down, then getting down. And talk about spreading the ball around. Everyone getting a chance to show off the hands based on the number of targets we've seen. When you're dealing with a deficit like this, it's all about somebody stepping up to make a play. And you might as well start here in the fourth quarter. Keeping it on the ground on first and goal. Not much room. He gets one down to the seven. Defense rolls up deep in its own end on that last play. Now a second and long coming. Got it! Snowed under by the defense. This offense is not letting up, guys. They've got a lead here late, and they are still taking shots. They're still looking for explosive plays. This defense just has not had an answer here all game long. If they can pay off this third and goal with a touchdown, it might be getting a little tough to swallow over there on the other side. And to the end zone he goes. Touchdown, Raging Cajuns. And I love it. I love the physicality of this offense. It's third and goal. I trust my offensive line to pave the way, give the ball to my running back, and know he's going to physically punch this thing into the end zone. up to tack one more onto that lead and the extra point is true and they have a two touchdown lead up 14 in the fourth they put it in the end zone with a 12 play scoring drive and it was closed out by the short yardage touchdown 
Kickoff team lining up to send this one away. He'll bring it back from inside his five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. The Marshall offense makes its way back onto the field. Using his legs, it's Turner. Get some work done there. Pick up a four to the 22. Small gain, I know. But again, the defense knows he's going to run the football. He's willing to run the football, not just drop back and pass. Make him onto the run game. you got to do a lot of this. Solid pickup of four on first down. It's second and six. Looking to pass. It's Braxton. Dances away from the heat. Nifty little scamper on this one. Enough for the first down. And he slides in safely. Defense is all about creating negative plays. And he does a really good job at the quarterback spot of not taking sacks. Like, that's a great job. He wants to throw the football. The clock goes off. He takes off and gets a positive game. It's first and 10 from the 31. They'll run it from the gun. Pushes ahead for a couple. They'll mark it at the 33. That's a really good job by the defense, wrapping them up, getting them on the ground. Take away that run game. Make them one-dimensional, put them in passing situations. Really good job by the defense. Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. He's looking to throw. Grabbed in the middle. It's Metcalf. They get him on the ground after he gets enough to move the sticks. I think if you're the head coach at this point, you're telling your offense, it doesn't matter what's happened up to this point of the game. Obviously, things haven't gone our way, but we have a chance to execute in a two-minute situation and give ourselves a chance to win. Let's go do it one play at a time. This Marshall offense putting together a nice drive. Power football with the run. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. He's looking to throw. Unloads to the wideout. Got his man on the right. Finally pulled down, but not before. Moving the chains for a first down. They've got the weapons to stay aggressive. He just made a big play. Let's see if we can take a shot here into the end zone. Score and try to save as much time on the clock as we can. Marshall back at it with another first and ten. Caught behind the line. It's Fitzpatrick. Man down on the play as the officials take a break to let him be checked out. Let's see what they've got on second down. Scanning the field, it's Braxton. Got his man quickly. And good coverage by the defense, just a short game. Well, and here's the problem offensively. Because you're trailing by so much so late in the game, the defense now is going to be playing big zone coverages, and they're going to allow you to throw the ball underneath in the middle of the field, rally to make a tackle, and bleed the clock. It's going to be hard now for this offense to claw their way back in this one. Third and long, and he'll try to throw for it. Grab near the sticks. It's Metcalf. Working their way closer and closer. A third down conversion, and they've got it at the 26. Well, trailing like they are right now in the fourth quarter, their execution offensively is just going to have to be at a premium. You can't afford a lot of incompletions at this point. Everybody is going to need to be on the same page moving forward. Quarterback on the keeper. Quarterback gets past the marker. He'll be down at the four-yard line after that terrific run. Looks as if we have an injury on that last play, and we'll take a break to check him out. First and goal, and a great opportunity to slice into this lead. They'll try to get it in with the run. He pushes it forward all the way to the two-yard line.
Now on second and goal. He's looking to throw. Using his legs, keeping his eyes downfield. And he'll race it to the house. Touchdown, Marshall! Old Uncle Mo has changed sidelines. Look out, brother. Here's what happens, right? Something happens, gets you close in the ball game. The defense needs to come out here, get a stop, get that ball back to the offense. Oh, Uncle Mo on your side. The AT unit on the field. And the PAT will draw them one point closer. They put it in the end zone with a 12-play scoring drive and finish the deal with the short touchdown run from the two. The kickoff team out there set to boot it away. And he takes this from inside the five. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. Here comes the Louisiana offense onto the field. And they've got a little bit of a cushion here, David. If they can add to it on this drive, it would be nice. And it definitely makes a little bit of a difference. Knowing I'm up by more than a field goal, obviously, Jesse, my mindset switches, and I know I can't make mistakes. Yeah, and David, I don't think they have to reinvent the wheel on offense here. What they've been calling has been working. Just get back to doing what you're good at. And this set of downs gets started from the 33, first and 10. They'll ride Davis here. This has been happening all night. They stubbornly keep giving him the ball, and the defense is all over him. It's hard to run on a defense that comes off the ball like that and runs to the football like that. Good luck. No holes anyway. They got nothing on the last play. It's second and 10. Quickly complete. He's run out of bounds, but not before. Turning in a big pickup and moving the sticks for a first down. I love an offense that wants to stay aggressive. Even when you've got the lead late in a game like this, right? You still try to find your playmakers and get them the ball in space, and that is exactly what this offense is doing. They move the chains on the ground. Now another first down. He's looking to throw it. Almost had the completion. Just missed it. And hopefully that's not going to affect the quarterback's confidence going back to this guy later. That was a catch he should have made. He dropped it. Let's see what the QB does moving forward. Now on second down. They try to pop a run on the draw. They almost got a first down there. Stopped a yard short. It'll be third down. Draws are such a smart way to take advantage of fast defensive linemen. They want to get upfield and get after the quarterback. It keeps them honest. Makes them realize they got to play the run, too. Great play call. Let's see if the defense comes after them. Third and short from the 45. They'll try to move the chains on the ground. And the Raging Cajuns are stopped, but not before getting it past the sticks. Well, the defense didn't blitz. They didn't have everybody in gaps, and the offensive line took advantage of the point of attack, getting some push, opening up a hole, and the offense ripping off a nice run there. The Raging Cajuns have it with a first and ten. It'll be a draw. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. I tell you, they tried to go draw in the middle of the field. That back had nowhere to go with the football. He was tackled right away for a loss. After losing a couple of yards, it's now second and 12 as they try to keep this drive moving. Here's the give off the left side. And he is swarmed under a host of defenders there to make the stop. Third down conversions are a huge stat, and this one would be a doozy if they can pull it off. From the gun, wants to pass. Dances away to buy time. 
and couldn't quite find the crevice he needed to pick up the first down. Well, and you could tell the QB, he drops back and he wants to throw the football. He wants to push it downfield, try to get the first down. Couldn't do it. Nobody was open, couldn't find anybody, took off to scramble. Great job by the defense reacting to it, getting him on the ground, stopping him short of the first down. And that is no good. And the margin remains at seven after the miss. And after missing that field goal, this is still a one possession game, guys. Marshall takes over the ball. The thundering herd offense coming out. First play of the drive comes from the 41. Out of the shotgun, they go to the ground. Creating some space, getting just enough good blocking, and they've got it up to the 47-yard line. Coaches always harp about staying ahead of the chains, and when you can run with that type of efficiency on first down, man, you are doing just that. Six-yard pickup on first down. Leaves him with second and four. To the air. It's Braxton. Throws to the wideout. Got his man downfield. And chunk plays are the name of the game. And they get one here before the defense finally makes a stop. That's what's so scary about this offense. They've got guys in the perimeter that can change the game in one single play, and you saw it right there. Too much speed on the perimeter to create that explosive play. To the ground with the back. And he's able to find a little bit of running room before they get him down. And a nice job by the running back, finding space, getting downhill, making the good run. Great job finishing with his pads. Good spot after that seven-yard pickup on first down. It's second and three. Back to the ground with the running back. Tackled after picking up the first down. This offense has to get this guy the ball in as many ways as possible. He showed you all of his tools on that last play. Big drive for this offense late, trying to tie the game. They piece together a couple of first downs, and here they come again. Looking to move it through the air. Got it in the middle. It's Metcalf. That throw and catch gets them down to the six, and the defense is running out of answers. You complete some of these hitch throws early, you're setting up the hitch and go. Later on, you can pump fake that, and then the receiver can pirouette right up the sideline. That might be a home run play for the offense. Second down, coming up on this red zone opportunity. Moving the running back, trying to get the D to tip its hand. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Great team defense on that run play. Everybody doing their job. People winning their one-on-ones. D linemen staying in their gaps. Linebackers and DBs filling. You just can't do it better. Boy, they'd love to pick up this conversion and go to work with a first and goal. Back to pass, it's Braxton. Skips away from pressure. And he's sprinting, he'll take it all the way. Touchdown, Hurd! The identity of this offense is their ability to run the football. They're doing that in this game. That's now three rushing touchdowns on the day. Now they'll line up for what they hope is automatic. And that extra point was good, and we are deadlocked here in the fourth. They marched 58 yards for the touchdown on that one, and he found his way to the end zone from the seven to cap it. We've got a dandy going here, all tied up in the fourth quarter and about to kick it away. On the run from inside his own five. 
He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. Louisiana has it back in the Raging Cajun offense headed to the field. A quick pass to the left. Tackled immediately after the catch. Ooh, and that was close for the offense. They try to go wide receiver screen. They're counting on that receiver, beating that defender. Wasn't able to make a miss that time, but if I'm on offense, I'm going back to that play later. Offense gets set for second down. They'll try the run. Gets it out to the 25-yard line, a gain of three. So they're facing third and short from the 25. From the gun, wants to pass. Firing to the right, complete. And with that effort, they pick up a fresh set of downs. They have it at the 34-yard line. Really nice job there by the quarterback, understanding that it's zone coverage on third down. You're going to have to find someone working into a soft spot, get the ball out of your hands quickly, make an accurate throw, and pick up the first. Well done. On the move. And this one will be stopped for no gain. Man, not much wiggle room for the ball carrier there. I'm not really sure what they can do to try to create some space. I know. Block better. How about the offensive lineman push some guy backwards and make some holes? Got stuffed on first down. It's second and ten. He's looking to throw. And that's a mistake you don't expect to see from a senior, and he is lucky to get it back. Well, I know that one fell incomplete, but what a day this guy has had throwing the football. Multiple touchdowns, and he's done a really nice job with his decision-making. Hasn't thrown any picks, which has really helped keep this offense on schedule. It's third down now, and they ought to be able to get off one more play before the two-minute warning. Throwing right. Got his man. A quick tackle made, but he's got plenty for the first down. And the Raging Cajuns come to the line with a fresh set of downs. Comes out throwing on first down. Snagged in the middle. It's Jensen. And the defense settled in to stop that one for a short game. You know, I know it seems like an easy pitch and catch, but for the tight end there, that route potentially changes if it's man coverage. So good job by him knowing it's zone. I'm just going to sit down. This is basically like a check down, right? Let's just take the easy pitch and catch and keep this drive going. They're going to throw it again. Quickly out to the tight end. And he's almost to that first down marker there, saying he's a little bit short. They might want to bring out the sticks and measure, but it looks as if he'll be just short of the first down. They're at their fastest tempo trying to get off this third down play. They'll try to get the first through the air. Spits it out to the back. Grab near the marker. It's Davis. And they knock him down, but he got past the line to gain. Timeout called by the defense. It's their first of the half as they'll go to the sideline and try to make adjustments. All knotted up. It's free football in the forecaster. Can this offense win it here? The run from the shotgun. And he'll pick up one. It brings up second and nine. The defense going to stop the clock with a timeout. They want to make sure they have everybody on the same page. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. Going to the running game. Hard running there. They'll pick up five. It'll be third and five. Timeout is called, and it's the defense wanting to make sure that everyone's on the same page for this big down. They'll snap it from the 28 in field goal range, but it's third and short. They'll keep it on the ground to the right. Just outside the red zone as they pick up the first down, they'll spot it at the 22. Well, that's kind of the advantage of third and medium, right? Is the defense, you keep them guessing. You can throw it, you can run it. That time they hand it off and they pick it up. Yeah, and you can see the D drop back a little bit. It creates a little bit of space. The running back blasts through, gets the first down. 
the give to Davis. He rolls all the way down to the five-yard line before they finally get him stopped. First down, you know you always want to establish the running game. How about this offense? Nothing fancy. Run the football, be physical, get a big game. They'll send out the kicker here. This almost certainly to win the game. It's good. He hit that one right down the middle. Celebration erupts on the sideline as they take the lead in the final seconds. It is a nerve-wracking feeling as a football player. And you know in college football, no field goal is automatic. But there's no college kicker situation here. He drills that right through the uprights. And David, it looks like his team's getting the dub. From inside his own 10, let's see what he gets. Good job by the coverage unit to stop the return man. 